about you talking about like parking and stuff like that a little bit. Parking, of course we want to do a big parking structure here will be primarily from that base. We'll be connected through the skywalks, all three buildings are connected by skywalks. Also, parking in this existing building can be used by that base. That base was a skywalk too. But also this facility can be used for the retail and commercial side. Uh, parking here for all the retail shops along the strip and then parking here for some larger retail areas that are available. Um, traffic through the site primarily is stop signs on this area intersection. With the exception of this one at the center will be a, uh, a light so the rest will be signs, stop signs. Uh, this existing building that that place we made an interest into uh, turning into a parking facility. We didn't have a whole lot of information about it. We don't have structural drawings or anything like that. So this is just a kind of a generic layout. So we it's like 300 spaces per floor on that thing that we thought of. So uh, total parking for the site was about a little over 1,900 is what we just accomplished. Yeah, and uh, also, uh much like Rome, in these sort of perspective spaces, like just kind of midways and green spaces, we're trying to create attractions and attractions at each end to sort of draw you through the site. Um, so what we've done also, we've called this Madison Crossing, um, just sort of like a name to uh, give us some recognition in the region. Um, you know, of course, the crossing of Red Bank and Madison. And so we've developed like some icons that might be on the site. For example, this like water tower uh, kind of thing, which occurred right here along, the, along Madison Avenue sort of this like rustic water tower that advertises basically acts as signage to sort of further attract people and bring them into the site. Um, down at this end we talked about the idea of having like maybe an old <coughs> smokestack idea with mass and crossing down it that you know when you're standing at this end and you look down here it's sort of a very uh, clear element and just things like uh, fountains you know also sort of uh, neat things to interact with. Um, this axonometric basically shows a lot of the same information but starts to extrapolate this three-dimensionally. So you can see um, there's, there's a pretty distinct difference in terms of scale. We talk about industrial versus contemporary too. Um, which, so obviously as uh, this is Red Bank and this is Madison, the retail spaces are a little smaller, a little point right along that uh, intersection, but it's also small enough that you can probably get views back and into some of this uh, rear stuff like Medface. For instance, um, so these are just some of our keywords: collage, uh, canvas, attraction. Uh, we really want it to be walkable, obviously. Um, urban, dense, leisurely, convenient. Uh, we use the dialectical idea and parking spaces and community. So this final board just begins to show some perspectives uh, created on site. So this one, uh, for example, would be taken from here, looking down the midway, if you were to use the stack as sort of this um, observation point. Um, this is the kind of view you get down the midway, so this would be the base buildings. Um, this is the roof of residential right here, but this would be some uh, commercial, commercial, uh, things like that. The second one is a view at the primary intersection, uh, looking at MedPace, so this is MedPace right here. The park sort of crosses through in front. And um, again, we have these sort of uh, skywalks that, again, would be industrial quality or character that connect med base to parking garages and keep people out of the rain. Uh, this one is uh, kind of the inverse, standing at this end and looking back. So you see the stack in the distance. And you get, again, an idea about the sort of pastoral and uh, walkable qualities of the site. Um, this rendering is essentially from the main, uh, a moment where retail meets industry. So this like sort of plaza right here between the two, looking south. So that's what this is. Um, this is more of a rendering that shows you sort of the differences in qualities. And uh, maybe you could use these spaces for fairs and festivals kinds of things, but we envision them being sort of lively streetscapes. And this final one would be kind of like a perspective from MedPace. So if you were in this corner, essentially, of the building and looking out over the site, this is the kind of view you would get. So again, just trying to reinforce this sort of like interaction with nature, this sort of um, nice community feeling. And uh, I guess I'll let you finish up with the site stuff. Okay. Well, the here is obviously not flat. So what we did was we tried to spread out chain elevations get kind of a profile like what the section would be look like this. So your retail side is primarily flat because we want that to be walkable for the pedestrians and it's 
slopes up, up here to where the town houses are, are the park. That's just one. That's just uh, one consideration. There's a lot of different ways to do it. That's the way 